Good morning everybody, it's about 10am ish or so on a Saturday, we're hitting the water, it is a spectacular May day today, so hopefully the fish are thinking the same thing and we're going to go get a feed. Yeah! <laughs> so we'll beeline it for that rock. from the water uh, as you've seen I've got one kingfish on the line but overall pretty quiet that was a we had a score like 30 kings Danny Danny struck out again um, well basically we've been to this rock that I've been wanting to go to for a long long time and it was pretty dead overall the snapper looked a bit quiet um, today but we haven't put any burlies down or anything so we're we're basically just in transit heading back to where we came from in the hope that we swim into the some more kingfish really. Um, nice diving, beautifully calm, pretty green, pretty, well a bit green, bit hazy as you've seen, but um, good fun. <laughs> Well, we're in and we're tangled yet again in the bloody float line. What even the heck is going on? <sighs> oh, nice little Johnny for Danny. Um, the king is about 80 centimetres, so just a little, little king, which was a shame because the rest of the school were behind it, and I didn't know there was a school there, and that was the first thing that came through, and I took him because we wanted a king, and it was really, in hindsight, the, I wouldn't have shot him if the school had come through, I would have shot a bigger one, but shit happens. Oh, we're fish filleting. So in there we've got a couple snapper already, we've got a kahawai, got a trev, we've got kept the biggest snapper wings, because he's a good feeding himself. We've got that, the kingfish to go, as I said that was 80. We've got two more johnnies in there to fill it up, I'm hoping to get Danny to do hers. But uh, 
you know, almost the back end of the real laborious part of filleting, uh, of spearfishing is cleaning up your catch and I just stuck myself with a spike and now I'm bleeding, so. Yeah? Yep. And you notice is that like hard as ring a bone around there, which you can't do anything about. You, that's why you got to come in quite steep comparatively. Okay. Put them up, the camera. <laughs> Here's my first Johnny. <laughs> What's left? Hold that up too. Put that. Put that in your teeth. <laughs> I'm not that gangster. Uh -uh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get a few K's in. <laughs> Another beautiful evening. Look at that. Oh yeah, certainly feeling the last couple of days. This ain't easy, but that's the point. Six point three. Four minutes forty. Guess, guess the fish. Some fresh kahawai. And <laughs> we did before. This is, this is funny looking kahawai. Yeah. <laughs> Pork kahawai flavored with gravy. Here's our soy sauce wasabi mix. Mm -hmm. How does your Johnny taste? Delicious. Satisfying? Mm. The most satisfying John Dory you've ever tasted? I think so. Good. <laughs> That's what's on the platter tonight. It's um, it's Tuesday evening. Fast forward just to wrap up this vlog. Finally eating these John Dory fillets. Perfectly filleted. Perfectly filleted. <laughs> um, and well, I mean we've been having poke and just just everything, making as much use of the bloody just getting back into some fresh fish again. So um, we're stoked. I'm stoked. Uh, we're pretty much back, I think this video will be going back on level 2 days, so we're pretty much, we're getting much closer back to normality here in New Zealand, um, which is cool, we'll be trying to make the most of this weather over the next wee while, even though it's a bit, bit bloody hit and miss at the moment, but that's it, I'm eating, I'm Sam Price, I'll see you at the beach. <laughs>